What up YouTube, it's your boy Ryder back at you with another video and today I'm going to talk about uh, where I've been and like what I've been doing, why the content has kind of slowed down. The biggest thing is uh, the Christmas season is kind of busy for me. First, uh, let's talk about what I've done and I haven't really recorded. I did send a teaser video out recently of putting a helical cutter in my planer. There was an issue with some of the footage, and then after doing some more research, I found out that there's a lot of videos of how to do it on this uh, particular planer. It wasn't interesting. I do have a helical cutter on my planer now. It works excellent. Next up, I moved my uh, command center. I got uh, a dedicated computer, the kid's old computer. I just swapped out the motherboard um, and traded an old case for this case. So it didn't cost a whole lot of money. I have a dedicated computer here in the in the shop. I don't have to worry about putting my uh, laptop out here and getting it all dusty because it's a really nice laptop. It'll be used to run the CNC machine, uh, CNC machine uh, do graphic design stuff for the CNC machine in here. The Glowforge is still uh, upstairs and uh, it's ran off of either the wife's uh, laptop or my editing station up there. Which brings up another point. That's another reason I had two videos in the uh, in the shoot, the planer video and another one, and for some reason my editing computer upstairs, it could just keep shutting off. I have to troubleshoot the issue with that and uh, figure it out. I'll probably be editing this video on this thing. We'll see how it does. Uh, hopefully it works well. It's pretty easy to do. I made a shelf out of some uh, leftover plywood and some pieces of uh, two by two oak. I had laying around a nice speaker here in front of it. Just like having all consolidated, a dedicated screen. This is the old monitor that the kids had on their computer, but the display port input stopped working, so now it's just hooked up through uh, HDMI. Uh, display port does not work on it still. It'd be nice to be able to hook up two separate things to it at once through uh, different inputs, but that will not work out with that monitor. Now, something I've uh, wanted to do for a very long time, something that the wife has wanted me to do for a very long time, is uh, a small rubber table. So I got this uh, from a local uh, local maker. Uh, did some work for trade. Got a nice piece of, I think this was eucalyptus. And I got another big piece of uh, pecan over there. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that yet, but uh, pretty much just cut it down the middle uh, got the edges all squared up after uh, planing it. I used my, my sled down there to, uh, to get it nice and flat, the edges parallel. It'll be a uh, nice little table. I still need to make a, a form for it, but once the form is made, it's going to be something like that. Uh, 30 inches long, and I can't remember how wide I'm going to have it. Here, about 16, 17 inches wide. So I need to make the form for it. I've never done epoxy. You can see there's some uh, really big cracks in it. The uh, worry about bubbles. So I want to do very small layers to get these cracks filled in. Might go with clear epoxy. Might do some kind of dye stuff. Depends what the wife wants. It uh, goes with her flow in the house. Well, I'm not even sure where we're going to put it. But it'll be a nice little experiment. Uh, the epoxy is on its way. Uh, just need to get some uh, more melamine to make the form, which should be pretty simple for I've seen on YouTube. Never done this before. I'm excited to try this out. As usual, the shop is uh, quite a mess. Uh, I try to clean it as much as I can, but real lazy. It's my space. The wife doesn't complain about it, so I'm not motivated to clean it. But it is nice not having to put a car in here every night. Uh, I got the table saw over here. It's been there for a long time. This I still move around quite a bit because oh, I got it off the wheels now. I still got the wheels on it, so I can move this around, flip it around if I want to use the uh, the drill press with uh, a little more light over here. Thinking, still thinking about what I'm going to do as far as like kind of permanent spots for everything. I like having everything mobile and be able to move around, but I would like a spot for permanent things. I'm happy with uh, the wood rack. Um, I'm happy with this desk. The cabinet that's over here next to the desk might have to go. Uh, my router table that I made 
workbench. It doesn't get utilized. I think I just might the, make it storage over there. Maybe move the cabinet over on that end and have one more room for the, uh, the air compressor and maybe something else next to it. A dust collector. Uh, I don't know if you can see the frame, but I got this uh, box fan up here. Oh, I just got to get cleaned. A box fan up here with uh, just a cleaning, uh, a reusable filter. You go hose it off, knock all the dust out of it. It works okay, but I think a, a dedicated dust collection system for each machine or near machine, something better than the, uh, the shop vac, which fills up real quick when you're using tools like the planer, the joiner, the table saw. It fills up too quick when you're taking off a lot of material. I did those boards over there and it's like halfway full of just doing those short, you know, two foot boards. Okay, the shoving over here where I keep, uh, you know, power tools and my chemicals and sanding stuff. It's a mess. I mean, I put this curtain up to kind of keep the dust off it. It's not working. So what I plan on doing is building a shelf system all the way up to just below the the outtake camera up here uh, and have individual drawers, probably 12 by 12 with uh, labels on them. Open and close them. Uh, when I'm done with the tool, maybe put it back in there. Like I said, I'm quite disorganized, but I think that's gonna be a, a fun project. Uh, easy frame, the hardest part of that about this is gonna be uh, building those all those different drawers for this. I mean, they're going to be two feet deep, essentially the same size as this, uh, just out of plywood and two by fours, nothing too fancy. So something I talked about doing uh, like a year ago was the legs on this workbench. I got this workbench from Harbor Freight and a very thin, cheap top. That's actually what the bottom shelf's made of. Uh, I redid the top out of uh, two by fours, put some clamps on it, but I needed to do legs. It's not wide enough, so when I'm planning on something, it shakes back and forth. So I need to do legs, probably gonna do them on four by fours, and I wanna do drawers. Here's the back of the drawers. Oh, that's, that's busted, I didn't even notice that. Uh, the drawers were all getting replaced, the two ones that are in there right now. I'm gonna put drawers all the way down so I stop storing stuff down here, because it's just like a bunch of random crap I always put down there. Oh, I'd like to put a uh, twin screw vise on one of the ends. I'm going to move these vices out to the edge where this part is out on the edge because uh, I have a saw. Pretend this is a saw. I'm trying to saw a piece of wood. Have that piece of wood six inches out to get to the edge of it to cut it, which makes it kind of flimsy. And when I'm trying to cut something short, can't really get a uh, good grip on it. So I am going to move these out here, uh, fill in the notches and all the stuff that I dug out of it, if you've seen that video. All that's going to get moved over this way. And uh, twin screw vise on the end, the cheap Harbor Freight one uh, keeps busting uh, the pin on the, uh, the handle. So that's going to get replaced. And it's 2020, new year, new me. I want to get stuff like that I've been planning for a long time done this year. Uh, those are my goals, along with uh, losing some weight. Started the year at uh, 219, today I weighed in at 206, so I'm getting there. I want to get back down to like my normal before my back injury weight to uh, 185. That's where I'd like to be. We'll see uh, how long it gets there. I'm on a good start here, eating right, uh, drinking right. Today's cheat day, so I have finally had a drink. It's been a while. So I thought I'd just uh, drop a video, let you know what's going on, where things are going to be going, what I'll be up to in the uh, the next few months, and uh, I think I'm going to have a good time. I think you're going to have a good time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.